He's clearly gotten to be a better magician, but I, I think he's kind of grown in a lot of ways. He's, he's definitely uh, better at his job. He, he's, he's more focused, he's more professional, uh, but you know, all those elements that make him Jimmy Woo are still there. You know, he's still very earnest, very sweet. Uh, uh, you know, he still uh, wants to divulge a lot of information about his his life and, and mm -hmm. make connections to people, and uh, all those things that make him Jimmy are still there. But uh, but he is obviously uh, you know a, a better agent. That, that's why he's here on this case. How'd you do it, Scott? Do what? The car trick. James E. Wu. FBI. Hi, Randall. How are you? Ash, I'm good. How are you? I love your sweater. It's so cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping warm. The first time I ever interviewed you, or the only time I've ever interview, interviewed you was at D23 when it was announced you were going to be in WandaVision. And I, ha I have to admit, it was one of the more challenging interviews I've had because I couldn't wrap my head around what the hell the show was. I, so know. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. How was the show presented to you and what did you know about it before you read a script? When it was presented to me, well, when I first found out that I'd be coming back into the MCU, I knew nothing. All I knew was that, you know, they Jimmy Woo was gonna, you know, they wanted Jimmy Woo for this show and I was on Disney Plus and I was like, absolutely, I'm there. And then, um, and then maybe a few days later, they called me into the Marvel uh, Studios offices and in the conference room, Jack Schaefer, the head writer, broke down the entire series. Uh, uh, to me, and there were pictures all around the walls of this conference room. There's timelines and and graphs and all. You know, it was very, uh, very thorough, and I was just blown away. I was yeah. just really blown away. I, I mean, because I felt like it was so unusual, so 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 different from anything that's ever been done on TV. And um, uh, uh, but I also wondered, like, how are they going to do this? This is like, this is. Uh, so so like challenging uh and then and then uh and then you know later i got the a hold of the scripts once we you know started gearing into production I, and uh i was i was just as in it as the fans are right now in terms of like i had the same questions as we we were going through it i you know i was uh uh just as excited excited to read the next episode and to you know see how this all would unfold and uh uh and yeah, it, and after reading the, the final script, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's the face you made, okay. <laughs> that's the face I made. Well, throughout the, throughout those, you know, throughout reading the scripts, they were constant. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, mm. that makes sense. And you know, and then it all kind of, it all, it all uh, makes sense in the end. What was the biggest question that you had coming into the show? Come, the biggest question that I had. Mm -hmm. Do you know if you were blipped? That was a question that I did have. Mm, that was uh, my and biggest I one. Not a clear answer on that, but my guess is probably not. You know, because he has he has grown. You know, in in, in these five years, he has he's gotten to be such a better mu uh, magician. So he had to have been working on it. You know, all those five that one card trick, all those five years. Um, mm. Um, but I don't know. I, my, my guess is, though, that he wasn't blipped. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom. A 1950s sitcom. But why? He's kind of like the liaison for the audience right now. He's asking all the questions that we're asking. He's writing everything on the whiteboard. And we're like, yep, we want to know that. We want to know that. We want to know that. So will we get the answers to most of these questions by the end of the season? Um, uh, I, I, I'll say, uh, yeah, I, I will say, yeah, that, that it does start to make sense and, and, uh, the answers will, will, uh, reveal themselves. Mm. Well, we're having so much fun with the Easter eggs and I know, I'm sure you've been asked about this all day, but fans were loving the close up magic yeah. that yeah. you learned the trick. Did you learn it for real? Yes. Yes, <gasps> I did. That was not CGI. I did that. I think I, I think I had a couple days on it or, or a week learning that trick and you know it was just about dexterity you know and and uh, working those finger muscles and and uh, I think by the time we got to set I think I I think I had mastered it at that point. I was gonna say you know we're kind of in the lockdown times where we're all picking up skills so now are you just like focused on um, close-up magic at all or? No, that, you know what I after the shoot I kind of 
stop thinking about it, but that's a good idea because I am fascinated by it and I do want to learn more. And and if by, you know, the grace of God, they bring Jimmy Woo back, it would be nice to have more tricks under my sleeve. I don't know if you saw, there was this pretty viral tweet over the weekend um, from Stephen Sean Ford that said, hear me out, an entire Disney Plus show about Jimmy Woo do his working cases in the MCU like a fun X Files, make it happen, and it it kind of blew up. So I don't know if you saw that or what you think about it. Somebody sent me that. Somebody, I'm not on social media, but somebody sent me that, and uh, I thought this is brilliant. I would love it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, you know, I, I don't have any say in this, but I'm glad it's out there. You know, I feel like if we start manifesting it, you know. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Work the momentum. You never know. You never know. Yeah, and he's kind of like, he's he's got this web of connections to kind of all of these MCU characters at this point. And the future is so bright for Marvel. We have this whole new phase in the works. So it, who, who do you want to like team up with next? Where do you want to go next? Because right now you're working with Monica Rambeau. So Captain Marvel 2 is a possibility. Doctor Strange is a possibility. Like, where do you want to be? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. And I don't care as long as I'm there, you know, <laughs> as long as I'm there. I would love to, I would love to work with other superheroes in the MCU. I would love to, uh, uh, you know, ha have that, that X-Files type of show. I would love to. Such a good idea. I, I would love to be in the background uh, with no lines. Just as long as I'm there, I'm happy. No, you deserve more. Um, have you heard anything about Third Ant-Man? If, you, if you'll be heading back to the West Coast? I have not. I have not. Uh, I know they're 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 working on it, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm in it or not. But you know, one case at a time. I am focused on 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 Westview. I love seeing you and Darcy come together. What was the moment that you realized that Darcy and Jimmy would work so well as a duo? Oh gosh, I mean, just doing those scenes with her, with Kat Dennings was, uh, I, you know, when when you're having fun. Uh, acting with a partner, uh, you know, and I, I feel like that fun, that fun, it shows. You can you can feel it when you see the scene, and it may not be a fun scene, but you could just feel it in the actors that there's this energy about them. And 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 for me personally, I mean, just working with Kat was so fun uh, because she is so cool and so so nice and so talented and so funny and it was just a, a joy to work off of her yeah there's there's so many theories about the show right now have you seen one yet that you think is scarily close to being accurate yes okay so someone out there is on the money yes i've seen some that are uh that are uh uh remarkably close and make me kind of uh, you know, it's a testament to these fans that, the, you know, they, they understand this universe better than I do, you know, for them to, to, to be able to figure these things out. Uh, well, I'm out of time, but you're a delight. And um, oh. yeah, can't wait to talk to you more about this. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it one day. Yeah, congrats again. Love the sweater. And thank oh, you. Everybody. Thank you. Ash. That means <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Love your sweater, too. <laughs>